There's the call to the post. Exacta trifecta wagering. Keep in mind, no show wagering. Number one is Starlink. Owned by CNI Siegel Stable Limited, Vernon Shire Stable, Brian, and Pen uh, Brian Penske Stable. Brian Penske trains and drives. 1A never is scratched. The 1B is Blue Martini. Owned by Martini Stable of Downers Grove. Trained by Brian Penske with Dean McGee in the bike. There's the two perfect hosts on the monitors. Owned by Henry and Sally Josephchik of Lebanon, Ohio. Trained and driven by Mark Evers. 2A, Moonlight Gambit races for the same stable. Trainer Mark Evers, driver is Eric Ledford. Number three will be Infinite Dreams who is owned by David Miller of Lake Mary, Florida, trained by Irvin Miller. Andy Miller is in the bike. Number four, Jates Nearside Back, owned by Peter Sellers of Durham, North Carolina, and Rodney Jacobs of Aspen, Colorado, trained and driven by Michael Cox. Number five, a star roll, owned by Doug Ackerman Stables Incorporated of LaPorte, Indiana, trained by Doug Ackerman, D.R. Ackerman to drive. Number six is Three Olives who is owned by the L&L &L DeVisser Limited Liability Corporation of Holland, Michigan. Joseph Siekman, the trainer. Dale Heitman, the driver. Number seven is King Toot Pan Common, owned by Peter Pan Stables Incorporated of Pepper Pike, Ohio. Trained by Ivan Sugg. Dave Pallone is up. And number eight will be Tinsmith. And there is Tinsmith on the monitors, owned by Richard Oldfield of Lexington, Kentucky. Dick Oldfield is the trainer. Anthony Morgan will drive. Post time on this trifecta race, just six minutes away. But again, remember, no show wagering on this eighth race. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Blue Martini for the lead. Star Roll is off stride. There goes Perfect Host from the inside. Followed into the first turn by Infinite Dreams. Perfect Host is up to grab a short lead. Blue Martini is there on the outside to challenge the leader after the opening eighth of a mile as they move around the first turn. And Tinsmith is moving up quickly from third. There goes Tinsmith alongside Blue Martini. Perfect Host is third. Infinite Dreams is racing fourth toward the inside. Just in front of Star Link who goes fifth. And then comes Star Roll. Opening quarter went in 28 and 1 fifth seconds. Further back, Three Olives is on the move from center pack. Seven lengths off the lead. Followed by King Toot Pan Common on the outside. Jates near side back is right behind him. And they are followed by Moonlight Gambit, who is last for the move up the back stretch. Off the opening quarter in 28 and 1, Infinite Dreams now rolls to the top and takes the lead before the half mile mark. Infinite Dreams by a length and a half. Followed by Ten Smith in second. Blue Martini is third followed by Three Olives, who's fourth on the outside, three lengths off the lead. Perfect Host is next to the inside of horses. King Toot Pan Common moves up on the outside, off a half and 58 seconds flat, and then Star Link, who drops back a couple of spots looking for room down toward the inside. On the last turn, Infinite Dreams on top by a leg. Three Olives is second, and drawing alongside the leader. Tin Smith is locked in third, flanked there by King Toot Pan Common at the three quarters, followed by Jates near side back and Blue Martini. Perfect Host has ground to make up. Three quarters and 127 and one. Here's Three Olives moving up on the outside to get the lead from Infinite Dreams, and Three Olives kicks on for the wire. Three Olives opens up by five in deep stretch now. Followed by King Toot Pan Common. Jates near side back is rough gated on the far outside. Ten Smith moving late, but it's all Three Olives. Three Olives on cruise control here to win it by four. King Toot Pan Common was second. Ten Smith was third in 153 and four. Well, folks, not only is Joseph Siekman the winning trainer, of three olives, but his wife Tina is down trackside, and guess what? Joseph and Tina Siekman are celebrating their 13th wedding anniversary today. A big day for the Siekman stable, and here's their winning performer, Three Olives. John Cisna, Review Stakes President, moves in to make the trophy presentation to the winning connections. L and L DeVisser Limited Liability Corporation of Holland, Michigan owns this Jenna's Beach Boy Colt. Tina Siekman to get the caretaker's medallion. And Jen Scheitlin, who began as Champaign County Fair Queen and now reigns as Miss Illinois County Fair Queen, also assisting with the trophy presentation.
Jen moves in to congratulate Tina Seekman and driver Dale Heitman. Let's grab a word real quickly with Dale. Dale, before you get away, you're on a roll. You're the leading driver of the week at the Illinois State Fair. I think that's your seventh winner of the week. Did you expect that week when you came down here? No, I just uh, hoped to have some nice success and knew this colt would be here and have some fun. You've driven this colt in all of his previous starts. Have you talked much to trainer Joseph Siegman and what might the future plan be with him? Uh, he staked uh, pretty good for the rest of the year up in Canada, Breeders' Crown, and uh, we, he had a little break prior to this race, and uh, this was uh, like a tightener for him, and he really raced well today. That's Dale Heitman and Tina Siegman. How about it? Breeders' Crown on the horizon later this fall? Looking forward to it. A few hundred thousand dollars. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? That'd be great. Tell Joseph we said happy anniversary and to you too. I will. He's up to uh, Midland racing in the Spartan Futurity today. We had four horses in there, and I chose to come here with him, and he stayed up in Michigan. So Joseph is racing in Michigan. Tina, you can give him that trophy when you see him. Congratulations. Thank you. That's Tina Seekman, ladies and gentlemen. Rundown is up next.